Venom issue 28 sees Codex meet with Doc Ock, asking if a symbiote has bonded with Virus yet. Otto reveals the symbiote hasn't since it's oddly hesitant of its new host, choosing to study him instead of bonding with him. Codex tells him to start over, wondering if Virus can speak since he wants to know all about the armor he came in. Otto lets Virus speak, who says that they will do whatever the villain wants, but Codex knows that he will whether he likes it or not. Codex is intrigued by the symbiote hunting gear, the being had and how it was all made from a war machine armor. Virus says that it was all he could afford, having bought it from the Tinkerer. Codex knows the Tinkerer has been dead for years, as are Stark and Osborn, demanding the man don't tell him lies about where he got the armor and weapons from. Virus says that he's not from this world and he fell through a wormhole while chasing Eddie Brock. Codex becomes enraged upon hearing that name, wanting to know everything the villain knows. Meanwhile in the sewer, Eddie wants to know how Annie is alive, knowing that he never thought he would see her again. Annie points her gun at him, telling him to stop and demands to know how Eddie is there. Eddie fills her in on the tussle with the Maker and how they fell through a time portal to this world and he knows how insane it sounds, being just as confused as Annie is. Annie wants him to prove it, wanting him to tell her how he got the symbiote. Eddie tells her it was in a church, which tells her he really is Eddie. Annie says that this all happened because of him, revealing on this world, Eddie walked into the church all those years ago and killed killed himself, meaning he never became Venom and the symbiote never bonded with him. Annie says that she mourned for him and hated the man for leaving her and hated herself because she could never make him believe how much she loved him. Annie reveals that she went back to the church and to where Eddie killed himself, feeling anger wash over her, which drew the symbiote out of hiding to her, making it bond with her. Eddie doesn't understand how her symbiote looks different, so Annie shares that her symbiote began spawning, preparing for something horrible on the horizon. She reveals that she was drafted into a unit by Flash Thompson, being led by Rex Strickland, the first man to ever bond with a symbiote. Together with Flash Thompson, Rex took the war to Codex and now only her team are the last remaining, using old shield tunnels to hide from Codex and his symbiotes. Eddie is introduced to the team which consists of a mustached Peter Parker, Cletus Cassidy, Wade Wilson and Andy Benton. Eddie is enraged Cassidy is there since he's a lunatic, but Annie says that Cletus was the first to join them and while he has a past, he has Rex's training and help from their science officer that has made him better. Peter's spider sense goes off, alerting them to something coming as suddenly the ward explodes as the symbiote Juggernaut, the Thing, Sabretooth, Omega Red and Wolverine appear. The heroes don't wait around, meeting Codex's X-Men in battle. The trained agent Venoms easily hold their own against the symbiote mutants and Fantastic Four members, but Omega Red grabs Annie, slamming her into the wall as Venom and Carnage join forces to attack Juggernaut, ripping him apart in front of the horrified Dylan. Deadpool decides it's time for Plan X, revealing bombs strapped to him under his symbiote. Everyone escapes the tunnels as Wade confronts the villains, telling them that he's the only one who will be surviving this. Wade blows the bombs, destroying himself, the villains, and the tunnels. Codex meanwhile learns the symbiote has finally bonded with Virus, demanding he be released. Otto releases him as Codex confronts the villain, knowing they need to change his name. Virus gets up, saying that he won't be changing it since Eddie paralyzed him and he isn't taking his name again. And from now on, Codex can call him the Scorpion. Codex is more than happy to call Mac Gargan by his old name, telling him to get on his knees and swear allegiance to him and bring him Eddie Brock. The Agent Venoms, meanwhile, all make it back to their lab, where Eddie finds their science officer is a rather deranged Reed Richards, who upon seeing Dylan is shocked, as are the other Venoms. Annie is shocked to learn that Dylan is Eddie's son, since on this world, Dylan isn't just Eddie's son, he's also Codex. Venom issue 28 paid off a few things Donny Cates has been seeding over the previous couple of issues, as Virus's identity is finally revealed, as is Codex's, although that was, I think, something that everyone could agree could spot for from a mile away. I enjoyed seeing more of the Codex controlled world and what has become of the different heroes, specifically the Spider family. Peter, Wade and Cletus's roles here were really fun and I liked learning how they became hosts to symbiotes to combat symbiotes. I thought that was pretty cool. And I'm hoping we get to see a bit more of them in the coming issues relating to this story. Virus being revealed to be the 
scorpion was a really awesome thing as well tying it back to how carnage almost killed the villain and how mac blames eddie for it so their reunion will be quite fun to watch play out especially with an eddie who is now a little bit more softer spoken and willing to talk things out rather than resort straight to violence so that's going to be quite a cool confrontation i'm going to give this issue an 8.5 out of 10